Now then, work rate questions. Okay, now, uh, these actually, they're pretty good at these. They're actually easy once you realise how to set them up. But, you know, can you imagine a painter does a house in five hours? Uh, so it takes seven hours to do the same job. If they work together, how long would they take? Now, what you're kind of thinking here is, okay, what's the part of the job they would do in one hour? Okay, so in five hours, they do the whole job. In an hour, they would do one-fifth of the job. All right, so here we go. So the painter, in one hour, can do one-fifth of the whole job, all right? Because it takes him five hours to do the whole job. So in one hour, he's only done a fifth of it. Now watch this. If I add what the assistant, so in seven, she can do the whole job in seven hours. So again, in one hour, she'd only be doing a seventh of the job, okay? Think about it, okay? So the whole job in seven hours, so in one hour, just a seventh of it. Now, here we go, equals. Now, what I'm gonna write here is, is okay, together they're going to, take t, all right? t hours, all right? Again, that's how, you can put x if you want to. So we're going over here, in one hour, they would do one over t, okay? That's just part of it, okay? Look, look at the left-hand side, it makes sense, doesn't it? Five hours, in one hour, you would do a fifth of it. If you worked, somebody did it in seven hours, in one hour, they would do a seventh of the job. So together, if they worked, uh, did the whole job in t hours, in one hour, they'd do one over t, part of the job. Now that's it, that's, you've set up the equation, okay? Now the thing about this is, is how do I get to the t? I've got to find t. Now if you go back and look at everything you've done before about um, solving rational equations, so 6.5, you're going to multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, which is 5, 7, t, it's 35 t. I'm going to multiply everything by 35 t, okay? 35t and again 35t all right so I'm going to erase all this stuff below so I get some more space excuse me should have done it earlier okay back to the pen right so what's going to cancel here right 35 over 5 is 7 well, can you see 7 times t? I've got a t, I've got a 7, and a 1, that is 7t. Plus the 7 and the 35 will cancel down to a 5, won't it? Okay, so that'll cancel to a 5. Put the 5 there. That'll leave me with 5t. And that's going to equal, well here the t's cancel, equals 35. And now you've got a nice equation. But can you actually see... How, let's look at the original question. What had the 5 below it and the 7 below it have now kind of crossed over, and those are the numbers that are on top. You see, the 5 was below, now it's a 7 on top. The 7 below has now got the 5 on top. Okay, 7t and 5t. Right, add those together, you get 12t equals 35. If you divide both sides by 12, both sides by 12, then, you know, t, you can probably leave it as 35 over 12, but that's, what is that, 2? So that's just sort of 3 hours. So 2 hours, 11 remainder, and 11, 12 hours. Now actually, that's 55 minutes, actually, 2 hours and 55 minutes, but it doesn't expect you to go into too much detail. That's the answer for that. Okay, so look how it works. Um, I mean, if I just changed it to somebody did something in 4 hours, and their assistant did it in 5 hours, okay? what's the total time they would do it in. Okay, now I'm not setting up the equation there. So again, you just go one over four because in one hour they do a fourth of the job. The assistant who could do it in five hours, in one hour they would do a fifth of the job. Okay, and if they were together they worked for t hours, then in an hour they'd do one over t. Okay, so for that one, you'd multiply everything by four, five, t, 20, t. Okay, so it's just a question of you multiplying by the lowest common denominator once the hard bit's done, and then just finding out what uh, T is, okay?